Sometimes we need to find approximate roots of numbers that are not perfect squares or cubed. Luckily, we have scientific calculators that can help us find the roots we need. This is the most basic scientific calculator, but it still works well for finding roots. Even though this is the most basic model, you can easily find all the roots you need using this. However, if you use a different type of calculator and you're not interested in how this one works, skip this video and go to a video that deals with the type of calculator you have. The square root button on this calculator is right here. To find the square root of a number with this calculator, you must enter the number first. Then press the square root of x button here. For example, let's say you want to find the square root of 2. Enter 2 by clicking the 2 button, and 2 is displayed on the screen. Next, press the square root of x button, and the square root of 2 to 9 decimal places is displayed. The square root of 2 is an irrational number, so it has an infinite number of decimal places. But the display on this calculator can hold a maximum of 10 digits. So the value shown is an approximation of the square root of 2 rounded to 9 decimal places. The cube root on this calculator is a second function right above the 0 on the number pad. So to find the cube root of a number using this calculator, enter the number first. Then press the green second button up here. Next press the button with the cube root of x on top, which is the 0 button. For example, let's say you want to find the cube root of 5. First enter the 5 by pressing the 5 button, and the 5 appears on the display. Because the cube root on this calculator is a second function, you must press the green second button first. Then press the button with the cube root of x on top, which is the 0 button down here. The display now reads the approximate cube root of 5 to 9 decimal places. You can also use this calculator to find other roots, for example the fourth root or the fifth root, etc. With this calculator you always start out by entering the number you want to find the root of first. To find roots in general, use the x root of y function right here. You have to use this for any roots with indices higher than 3. Because this is a second function, press the green second button. Next, press the button with the x root of y on top. This is the y to the power x button. The next thing to do is enter the index of the root you want to find. For example, if you want to find the fourth root, enter 4 at this point. To get the answer, press the equals button on the bottom right. Let's say you want to find the fourth root of 12. Start by entering 12 using the number pad and the number 12 will appear in the display. Next press the green second function button here. At this point, press the button with the x root of y on top. This is the y to the power x button. A decimal point will appear after the 12 in the display. You want the fourth root of 12, so now enter four by pressing the four button. A four without a decimal point will now appear in the display. To get the final answer, press the equals button on the bottom right. An approximate value for the fourth root of 12 to 9 decimal places will now appear in the display. It's a good idea to practice using this calculator by finding common roots that you already know and seeing if you get the correct answers. For example, use the procedure given to find the square root of 16, and you should get the answer 4. Next, try finding the cube root of 8, and you should get the answer too. Try finding the fourth root of 81, which you know should be equal to 3. Remember, for this model of calculator, the TI-30XA, you must enter the number you want to work with first, then do the operation you require, such as finding a root. Other models of scientific calculators work differently.